Aloha, big kids. Miss Patton here. Today I have a new story for us, and it's called Winter. It's talking about the seasons. And the author of this book is Kay Barnham. So the author writes the words. And this story actually doesn't have an illustrator. It has a photographer or real pictures. So someone took real pictures and put them in our book. So here it looks like a mom and her child and they are building a snowman together. You see they have their gloves on and their jackets on to keep them warm. I also see it looks like they are having a lot of fun. All right, let's see what happens. Seasons, winter by Kay Barnham, our title page there. And here on our title page, I see somebody is snowboarding in the snow. Our table of contents tells us what's inside our book. The seasons. There are four seasons in the year. The seasons are called spring, summer, fall, and winter. Can you say the four seasons? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Each season is different. In the winter, the nights are long and the days are short. The winter months are December, January, and February. Winter weather. The weather is often very cold in the winter. It may be wet and windy. And down here in our bubble. Winter is the coldest season of the year. Sometimes it is so cold that snow falls. Snow is a lot of small flakes of frozen water. Building a snowman in the winter is fun. Winter trees. Many trees lose their leaves in the fall. By winter, their branches and twigs are bare. In the spring, new leaves will grow. This bird is easy to see among the bare branches. Some trees keep their leaves all year round. These trees are called evergreens. Evergreen trees always have green leaves, even in the winter. And here in Hawaii, not all of our trees lose their leaves in the fall. Some of our trees up in Volcano do, but a lot of our trees keep their leaves year round. Winter plants. Many plants stop growing in the winter. This helps them to survive the cold weather. But a few plants, such as holly and mistletoe, do grow. In the winter, birds feed on holly berries. Snowdrops are small white flowers. They are tough enough to survive the cold, even when there's snow on the ground. Snowdrops appear in the late winter or early spring. Animals in winter. In the winter, it is hard for animals to survive. Many of them go to sleep until warmer weather comes. This sleep is called hibernation. Hibernating bears can survive without food or water for three months or more. Wow. Some birds fly to hot countries. This journey is called migration. They will come back when the winter is over. Arctic terns fly farther than any other bird to reach warm weather. 
Winter fun. There are lots of winter sports to enjoy. Why not learn to ice skate? If there's little snow, you could try sledding too. Ice skaters whiz across the ice on narrow blades. In some countries, lots of snow falls in the, in the winter. Skiers and snowboarders zoom down snowy mountains. Many people spend winter vacations skiing or snowboarding. Winter food. In the winter, there's a lot of delicious food to eat. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and parsnips are all ready to be harvested. Look for fresh winter vegetables at, at farmer's markets. Hot food helps keep us warm in the winter. Vegetables can be made into hearty soups and stews. Hot soup is the perfect meal for a cold day. Why do we have seasons? We have seasons because Earth is tilted. As Earth moves around the sun, different parts of the planet are near the sun. In the spring, our part of the planet moves towards the sun. The weather grows warmer. In the summer, our part of the planet is nearest the sun, so the weather is hot. In the fall, our part of the planet moves away from the sun. The weather grows colder. In the winter, our part of the planet is the farthest from the sun. This means that the weather is cold. It takes a year for the four seasons to happen. This is because it takes a year for the earth to move around the sun. All right, big kids, it's Free Draw Friday. You can draw anything you would like in your journal. I hope you have a wonderful day and a great safe break. And I can't wait to see you back in 2021. Have a wonderful safe break, big kids. Aloha.